Everybody, thanks for joining us today on, obviously smiling right now, you can tell, this is one great looking car. Man, when they got it right, they get it right. The British just do things that other people don't do. And you say, well, Tony, why do you say the British do that? Well, let's just throw in a couple small British iconic brands, tiny little things like Rolls Royce, Bentley. When's the last time you saw an ugly Bentley, right? Has anybody ever said, oh, that is the ugliest Rolls Royce I've ever seen? No. Throw Jaguar into the mix too, Range Rovers. The British do luxury like nobody else does, right? Let's take a walk around this car, almost $100,000 MSRP, and this is the way to buy a car, man. This is a one owner car, low miles, right? Loaded with features and things like that. The great wheels, a premium Envision package, and what have you, and a great color combination. Normally we see silver with black. The silver with tan with the black stitching for all of the black pieces around it adds a really nice touch. Uh, what I do like to talk about a lot of times is the quality of paint. And believe it or not, some factories paint better than others, and I think Jaguar does better than most. I want to show that to you real quick, so I hope we'll take a second and check the quality of paint, and let's look at that real quick. So I'd like to show this here. Take a look at this in the paint. Don't look at the sign. Look at the picture in the paint. Look at how clear the letters are. That's good quality paint. And here's a little quick tidbit for you. Most people don't know how silver is actually made, which is different than the other paints that are out there because it's mostly metallic. Metallic paints give you that great reflection, and this is silver metallic. This is called rhodium silver, which is an extra cost color, by the way. All right, let's take a peek under here. Well, first off, you're not going to the front of the car to open this hood. You're opening this in style. Very different, right? So uh, if you want to go to a car show or something like that, keep in mind they only make 1,500 of these F-types a year. This is not a high-volume car, right? The likelihood of seeing the same car is very strange. It would be very unlikely. Supercharged uh, engine here, the upgraded 380 horsepower. They even sell a chip upgrade to take you up to 450 horsepower if you want to uh, for a little extra juice if you like that. A couple different steps to 400, 425, or whatever. This right here is an important piece, and the reason I'm spending a second on this is not that you're going to be under the hood, but what you need to see is why this car is important to you, and this is why. The VIN number here is stamped into the inside of the fender. If it's still here, that means that this hasn't been in an accident and this big piece has been replaced, right? All the original decals are still in here. A lot of the decals you can't even buy. That's got the data trace system on there too with the VIN. This is important pieces because if the hood had been uh, in an accident or replaced, that would be missing. And what we're looking for is a clean Carfax, unmolested, you know, just a low mileage nice car, and that's exactly what we're talking about here. All right, so I like to talk about the back of the car for a reason, because styling is where this comes into. So for instance, like people will say, that is a great looking car, but they never know why. Who else would run the taillights almost all the way up to the rear wheel? So razor thin, right? That's what gave it this great styling and this piece here. Um, one of the things also too is this is a hardtop convertible. What this does is keeps the buffeting down. So when it's up, it's nice and quiet when you're in these cars because this is the hardtop up here and the wind doesn't do this. This is a high speed car. You know, keep in mind we're almost 400 horsepower. These are 180 mile an hour cars, right? Maybe the 170s, whatever. Uh, and this right here will keep that from happening. Nice little wind deflector. These hoops are polished, like little tiny stuff like that. I don't know. I just think that that's cool. I love the exhaust pipes that enter out the center right there. All right. And then you got the call out here for the S because this is an upgraded model. All right. Lastly, I like to look in the trunk and you say, well, Tom, who cares about the trunk? Well, before I do that, this spoiler right here, and you probably won't see it when you're driving, actually pops up and that pops up. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact speed, but somewhere around the 70 mile an hour mark. So be careful if this popped up and the police see you, you know, meh. Anyway, uh, I, I personally, 55 miles an hour, right-hand lane, flashers on, you've probably seen me, I'm that guy, right? No way. All right, this is always a nice sign. This, you said, this is silly, right? You say, Tone, why are you getting so excited about floor mats? Correct, you're absolutely right. However, what it says to me is, not only did they love their car enough to keep regular floor mats in there, they doubled them up and covered them in these as well. And that's just another step of somebody who really cared about their car. The trunk here, it's got uh, the entire inflator kit in here. You got a little bit of room for storage, go away for the weekend, soft luggage, what have you. Nice LED lighting here, so when you're loading up the car, you're all good to go. And the third brake lights all integrated there. All right, so come join me in here, because this is where you're gonna spend most of the time. I just wanted you to be able to see what other people see when you're driving this car around. But when this, when you get in here, these I don't know, these interiors are just different, man. So this has the extended leather pack. So instead of calling it a full leather interior, because the cup holder is not covered in leather, 
what all the other stuff is. The dash is covered in leather. The door panels are covered in leather. These are the nice things that make for a nicer car. And when you have the options like extended leather, you're getting some really, really nice stuff. Great console. This is the OS handle for in case, uh, you know, you get up to your top speed and somebody goes OS. It's a foul, foul word. Uh, what else we got in here? 8,000 RPM TAC, 200 mile an hour speedometer. They think uh, some pretty good stuff about this car. Heated seats. Uh, this also has a sport exhaust too. And so it has a couple settings and one's called individual setting and I really like that. So you can set the car up to start up however you want in full dynamic mode, full sport mode, whatever, or individual. And I like the individual because I like the sound of the exhaust but I don't like the suspension rock hard for race, but I get the great feel of the car. The suspension's a little bit softer and it sounds spectacular. You know, we're gonna close up this video with some style. How you doing? <laughs> Maybe not the most style you're looking for, but anyway, this car speaks for itself. We're talking about, let's run down some quick bullets and I'll let you run because we're gonna go for the test drive. Great color combination, right? Almost 100,000 uh, MSRP, right? Roughly 4,000 miles a year this car has been driven. Come on, man, garaged at home, garaged at work, two sets of floor mats. This is the kind of car, this is exactly why you buy this car because it's half the price of the sticker, right? Or roughly somewhere right around that. and it's beautiful and it's low mileage and it's just fabulous. This will never be a $2,000 car. You know why? Because these are expensive cars and they're great value, especially at this way and this is the way to buy it. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this F-Type S. If you would, don't forget to uh, share this video and like it there if you would and subscribe to the channel. We'd love that as well. And now let's go for a test drive.